Hi, my name is Carl Olson, and I'd like to welcome you to the very first video edition of the 16 by 9 Cinema Digital Convergence Podcast. Today I want to talk to you about a problem. You see, I love this camera. It's the Canon EOS 5D Mark II. It takes beautiful images, both still and video. But the honeymoon is over. This camera has issues. You see, the other day I was with a customer. I was shooting video, and I thought things were going splendidly with this camera. We were taking scene after scene, take after take. The customer was happy. I was having fun. I was just so excited. Everything was going great. I couldn't wait until I got home. I got home. I downloaded the CF cards. I imported the videos into Final Cut Pro, and then I started going through each clip. And as I went through the clip, I noticed a problem. I couldn't believe my eyes. There was a spot. Oh no, uh, th that's breakfast. I'm talking about this, the dreaded dead pixel, the hot pixel. Yes, there I was watching video, 1920 by 1080, beautiful HD from the Canon 5D Mark II, and one stinking pixel ruins it all. I was not happy. So, what would I do? Well, the very first thing I did was panic. And then after I calmed down, I Googled it. And much to my surprise, I found a solution. There's a company here in the Atlanta area by the name of CHV Electronics. They have a suite of products or uh, Final Cut Pro uh, plugins called uh, the Repair Collection. And in the Repair Collection is one FX script plugin called Dead Pixel. Just what I needed to blot this thing out. So why don't you take a look over my shoulders as I use Dead Pixel? I think you'll find it to be a really nice solution for a very bad problem. All right, I have a clip loaded here that has a hot uh, pixel in it. Uh, let me show that to you. I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit so uh, you can see that. You can see it right here on this uh, person's shirt. Let me highlight it for you. You see that little dot right there? That's a hot pixel. If I play the video, you see how it stays in a stationary position, so it's not noise or anything like that, but it is a, uh, definitely a hot pixel. So let's stop it right there. What I'm going to do now is load this sequence up here in the viewer. I'm going to apply a filter. So go to Effects, Video Filters, CHV Repair Collection, and choose Dead Pixel. So here we go. Uh, let's click on the Filters tab, and here you see Dead Pixel is checked. Now remember, this is Canon 5D Mark II video, so that's recorded in progressive so I'm going to choose progressive video so the first thing I want to do is mark the hot pixel to do that I make sure that this little radio button is is checked mark dead pixel and then I'm going to click on this uh, this little arrow right here upper left corner and then I'm going to go over here to where the hot pixel is so what I find that works really well is if I put that pixel in the lower right hand quadrant of the crosshairs and then click it and you'll see it makes this little tiny blue uh, rectangle that surrounds the hot pixel area. Now you may have to adjust that, uh, the offset a little bit if your aim is not good. Um, and also the size. Now I happen to know that with my, oops, let me set that back to zero. Okay, I happen to know that my hot pixel area is actually more than just one pixel. It's, it covers an area that's about three by four, so it's more of a rectangle shape. So I'm going to increase the size of that. Uh, it's horizontally, let me put that back and put four right here. And now, uh, I think that looks pretty good, so what we're going to do is cl click on the final radio button here 
Did I get it right? Let's look. Oh, there's still a little bit there, so I need to adjust that. So I'm going to go back up over here, choose Mark Dead Pixel, and uh, just bump the size of this just a little bit, 4, and then let's make this 5, and let's see if that gets that. I'm going to click on Final. Oh, now look at that. The pixel's pretty much gone. So now let's watch the video. And notice you don't see any hot pixel there. It's all gone. That's how easy it is. Now all you have to do is save your project, render the file, and you're good to go. Now there is one little uh, warning. If you resize or scale your clip, uh, Dead Pixel has a little bit of a problem lining up. So what you'll have to do is, is take your original clip at 100% scale, uh, mark the, the hot pixel spot, and then render it and save that clip and then re-import it back into Final Cut Pro, otherwise you'll have problems. But other than that, it works really, really well. It's very, very simple and solves a very aggravating problem. So as you can see, uh, Dead Pixel does a very fine job of eliminating <laughs> stuck pixels or dead pixels or hot pixels, whatever you want to call them. Something that stays in the stationary location uh, in your video, uh, the Dead Pixel makes it very easy to eliminate this. But the question is, is, why did it occur, under what circumstances, and what can be done to permanently eliminate the problem? Well, in my shooting with my camera, what I found is, is as I went through each clip, and I went through dozens, you could tell that uh, the further along I got with the clips, uh, you could start to see this uh, fluctuating pixel. So that told me that the sensor was getting hot, and that is a tendency in the Canon 5D Mark II, is the sensor will get, get hot. And, and by the way, if you use Trammell Hudson's Magic Lantern software, it gives you an indicator of what the temperature of the sensor is, so that, that's a good uh, little tool uh, to use. But anyway, back to the dead pixel. Uh, so the sensor is getting hot, and it also occurs under higher ISOs. Uh, lower ISOs, I never saw the problem occur, but it was when I was sitting in low light conditions, that's when I noticed the hot pixel the most. Now what can I do about it? Well, I called Canon up, and what they said I needed to do was to send this camera to an authorized Canon repair center. Within six to ten business days, what they would do is, in software, they would map out the stuck pixel. Uh, now, this is not a problem with uh, still uh, pictures that you take with the Canon 5D Mark II because the software automatically takes care of it. But for some reason or another, the video software does not account or map, uh, map out these dead pixels here. So I don't know why that's the case. Uh, it would be nice if in the uh, future firmware update for the Canon 5D Mark II that they addressed that, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I've not heard. Uh, but that would really be nice. Uh, because with 25 million pixels, it's inevitable that you're going to have one or two or three or more uh, dead pixels over uh, the life of the uh, uh, sensor that's in this camera. So where do you get this uh, uh, plug-in? Go to chv-plugins.com, and it's in the Repair Collection Kit. The repair collection kit not only has dead pixel, it has uh, a noise remover, it has dirt remover, and a few other uh, useful plugins that you, you might be able to benefit from. But in my particular case, dead pixel was a lifesaver. Uh, it really saved a lot of footage. It prevented me from having to go and do uh, fancy labor intensive masking or whatever. It just, it just works. So uh, go check that out. Thank you for watching the very first video edition of the 16x9 Cinema Digital Convergence podcast. We have many more episodes planned, so uh, really appreciate you giving this a listen, and we look forward to uh, providing more podcasts for you in the near future. We have a lot of great guests uh, lined up for our audio podcast. Remember, you can catch us at 16x9cinema.com and on Twitter at 16x9cinema. Look forward to seeing you in the next time. Go out and take some video.